what's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor 100, and it's time for another Pokemon Sword and Shield battle video here on Pokemon Showdown, of course. Thank you guys for coming to this video. It means a lot. And as I'm recording this, I am in my new place, which I'm loving it so far. It's not ideal for my recording situation, but at the moment, I am recording in the garage, which is fine, but you'll probably hear some noise in the background. I will do my best to get rid of that in post-production. So what we have here today is a random battle because why not? I haven't done that in a while. Of course, random battles mean that you don't know what we're bringing to the table. So this video is a mystery to all of you watching. So let's go ahead and play this thing. See what we're bringing here. So you see my opponent, Legend, leading out with a Looky Looky, and I have a Magmortar. So it's two Sinnoh Pokemon starting out, which is awesome. Can't wait for the Sinnoh remakes, guys. So we go for Focus Blast on turn one. I miraculously hit it, which is surprising. Now he has Wish on that Looky Looky, and he's going to switch out, right? So I expected that, and I didn't know who he's going to bring in. So I just go for Fire Blast, and that does a lot of damage to the Crocodile. But that Wish is still active. So that forces me to go into the city Y, go for Sword Stance, and he does have Stealth Rocks, which is unfortunate because I don't have a Spinner or a Defogger, which I wish I had access to that, but we don't. So we have a plus two to Sydney Y here. We go for the Dynamax, so a Mass Overgrowth is definitely going to knock it out. And on the plus side, I'll get some HP back because the grassy terrain is active. We have a Veltal here and that's the downside with a random battle because you have access to legendaries as well, which is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Now I feel like my opponent misplayed with a Veltal here because he went for Taunt when he could have knocked me out with another uh, Oblivion Wing. But because we went for taunt right there, I'm able to get off a plus two mass phantasm. But a lot of damage to him, to the point where I can bring in Mr. Mime Galar, who is a nice type in this generation, go for free shy, outspeed the Eveltal, and knock him out. He does have a Corviknight, however. And this Corviknight does a lot of work in this fight, not gonna lie. So he goes for body press, doesn't do a lot of damage, but he's gonna do more than that. So we just go for free shy. I have focus blast, but again, this is a choice scarf. Mr. Mind where he is choice scarf if I haven't mentioned that already. So what can you do, right? I can't really switch out because he might do some damage. He goes to the mass airstream and gets a plus 1.5 boost there, which is unfortunate. And I'm like, okay, who can possibly compete with this Corviknight? My McWhorter? Sure, but he won't be fast. So I thought my Chandelure could outspeed it. Turns out that that's not the case, but... Um, so I'm able to survive an Airstream and then put some damage with a Fire Blast, and that means I can bring in my Magmortar, or rather, I decided to go into Sharpedo, which is dumb. I really should have gone for Magmortar, but it is what it is. I, I think my thing in there is I could just go into Sharpedo, get my speed boost, and try to speed him there. Unfortunately, well, <laughs> I don't know if this is unfortunate because you ever defog and got rid of my Stealth Rocks on my side of the field. Or his Stealth Rocks on my side of the field. Okay, that messed up, huh? But that's fine. The Stealth Rocks are gone, and that's what counts, right? So here, um, Vileplume comes in. I did not expect that. We're just going to put some damage on in this thing. It's not going to matter because he has Giga Drain. Because I have a Fire type left over. And we have Magmortar. So let's go for Fire Blast. And he has a Hatterene. It's a two hit KO. We're going to outspeed it, and we somehow managed to hit all three fire blasts in this fight. Isn't that crazy? 
And all he has left is looky looky and his vial plume. And at this point, it's pretty much good game because I managed to survive an earthquake there. And as long as I don't miss a fire blast, we'll be good. And I managed to just go for earthquake to be on the safe side because I felt like I was going to miss a fire blast or something. But hey, the luck is there and we managed to win this fight. I think I won this one too well, or six to four. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Have a great day, trainers.